This is a Maviel copper clad pan that retails for several hundred dollars. This is a pan from the dollar store that I paid seven bucks for. I'm not quite sure what it's really made of. This Maviel was handcrafted in France. And this thing, well, it was made in China and I can only assume that it was stamped out by the thousands by some machine. But they're both pans, right? And they're created for the same purpose, to enable you to cook. So what's the difference between these pans and are they really worth that crazy gap in price? By the end of this video, you'll know what really separates a cheap pan from an expensive pan. Oh, and I'll share some of my tips on how you can still get a quality pan without going broke. Let's get at it. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And today we are talking about cheap pans versus expensive pans and if the difference really is worth it. And I should note that although I'm using these frying pans as an example, this really relates to all types of cookware, whether it's a pot, a skillet, or some other cooking vessel. And shout out to viewer Tau Epsilon 4220 for inspiring this idea. They asked whether I'd ever done a video comparing expensive pans versus cheap pans, and that really got me thinking, and well, here it is. And speaking of kitchen gear, I've got a trivia question at the end of this video to see if you can identify my mystery tool. But getting back to the pans, first I need to explain what I mean by cheap. Uh, while cheap can definitely mean price, uh, such as this pan that I paid less than $10 for, uh, for this video primarily when I mean cheap, I mean like cheap build quality, cheap materials, things like that. Uh, later in this video, I'll actually tell you how you can get a really nice quality pan for a cheap price. So let's start with one of the priciest in my collection. If you are a regular viewer, Thank you. This might look familiar. This is a Maviel copper and stainless steel pan. I reviewed this after I bought it. We made a wonderful meal of seared sea scallops in a wine butter sauce. It was absolutely delicious. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below. This pan retails for $260. As I said, it has a copper exterior. It has a stainless steel interior. It has a bronze handle and it's made by hand in France by craftsmen. And all of that explains what some may call an astronomical price tag for this thing. And then there's this. I didn't even see a brand name on this. It just said wood and stone. And then uh, in small print, it had something called Icon Home. Um, have you ever heard of that? Yeah, me neither. So like I said, I paid $7 for this at the dollar store. And uh, you know, aesthetically, it does look kind of nice. It has uh, what I guess is a wood handle and this granite stone interior referring to the name. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. And besides, it's bigger than this pan and bigger is always better, right? Well, not necessarily. Uh, you know, a Buick is bigger than a Ferrari, but uh, if given the choice, I can probably guess which one you would rather drive. So let's test drive these pans and see which one we really want in our garage, or I mean, kitchen. I'll share both my subjective and objective experience cooking with these pans, and let's start with just kind of the ergonomics, how they feel. And well, with this Maviel, it just feels really good. It's, it's got a nice heft to it, a nice weight. You pick it up and you just know that it's quality. This uh, bronze handle feels really good in the hand, although it does get quite hot on the stove as I experienced when I was cooking those scallops. But you know, you just pick this up and it feels like quality. Uh, this thing, it, yeah, it has some weight to it, but it's not very well balanced. And at least in my hand, this handle doesn't feel very good. My hand just doesn't naturally grip around it. And it's got kind of this odd indentation here. But let's move on to a more objective test. And I did what I call my water test. I filled each of these pans with a cup of water. I turned them on the stove to the same heat 
to see which would heat up faster and how the heat would be dispersed. And to my surprise, the cheap granite pan actually did heat up at about the same time as the Maville. Now, I know these pans are different sizes, so there's a little bit of accounting there, but it did heat up quite quickly. But I could already see an issue with uneven heat distribution. You can clearly see the bubbles coming up where the flame is, but uh, the rest of the pan not being so hot to simmer that water, unlike the Maviel, which was a lot more even throughout. And uneven heat distribution is a hallmark of a cheap quality pan. I then did another test where I did some actual cooking. Again, I had the same heat setting, and in each pan, I cooked a thin-cut, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And, well, the results weren't very good for one of these pans. Can you guess which one? Yes, in the cheap pan, again, uneven heat distribution was a problem. Part of the chicken was starting to burn, while the other parts were, you know, just getting cooked. Whereas in the Maviel, the chicken was nicely browned and, well, evenly browned with no burnt spots. Another thing I noticed with this cheap pan were abnormal amounts of smoke just pouring off the pan, really kind of mucking up the kitchen. It was not a pretty sight and it didn't smell great either. And I can only guess that that is attributed to the uneven heat distribution. Again, where parts of the pan were getting just way too hot and they were causing that oil to smoke. All in all, cooking with the Maviel was a delight because, well, my entree turned out really nice. But cooking with this pan, it was frustrating. And it just wasn't fun. And cooking should not be frustrating. And maybe you're in that boat. Maybe cooking is frustrating for you. And, well, part of it could be the cookware that you're using. If you're using something cheap like this and you're getting, you know, not good results, the pan could be the problem. Even the cleanup process was frustrating. Whereas the Maviel cleaned up nicely and looks like new, uh, this thing, after only one use, I can already see markings on it, and although I scrubbed it really well, you know, it just, it doesn't look very good. And again, this is after cooking with it one time. Now, I should note that, just like anything else, cooking takes practice and skill. All the money in the world isn't going to buy you talent. So, you know, if you're not a very good cook and you spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on cookware, that's not going to instantly make you a better cook. Uh, conversely, I, as a formally trained chef, you know, if I were forced to use this pan, I could probably make do and, you know, make a decent meal. But again, it wouldn't be fun. It'd probably be a lot more frustrating. So here's my suggestion just invest in some good quality pans. No, they don't have to be Maviel, but they should definitely be better than this. While a $10 pan like this, I get it, it's really tempting, I think it's also short-sighted because I think in the long run, it's going to actually cost you more money. That's because you're probably gonna have to replace this thing over and over and over again. Whereas if you just bought a good pan in the first place, well, it could last you decades or more. And those are just the tangible cost. I mean, what is the price of your frustration, not to mention all the ruined food that you might get by cooking in a pan like this? But like I say, you also don't need to spend a fortune. Uh, to be honest with you, I love this Maviel, but I don't use it very much. You know, it does require some special care, you know, cleaning it to get this nice shine. For my daily use, I usually grab just something like this, a nice all-clad stainless steel pan that can cook just about anything. And perhaps my second choice would be something like this Lodge cast iron pan that, again, is really, really versatile. Okay, so how do you score good quality pans at cheap prices? Well, I've got three tips for you. And the first is to shop at, like, discount stores. So the backstory of this Maviel is that I actually got it for $80 at a TJ Maxx. And that is a significant savings over its nearly $300 price as new. And this all-clad pan, well, I got it for half off on an online sale. I actually made a whole video about that process, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below. 
A second tip for getting great quality cookware for super cheap may come as no surprise if you are a subscriber to this channel, and that is shopping at thrift stores or buying them secondhand. I've made a lot of videos on the things that I found at thrift shops that are just incredible. Like this all clad pan, for example, cost me $5. Uh, yeah, it was in rough shape when I got it, but I made a whole video on how I cleaned this thing up to look like new and how you can too. And again, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. I've also gotten plenty of other types of cookware at thrift stores. In fact, the majority of my cookware I've bought secondhand. And here's another example, this nice little Calphalon skillet. You know, I probably paid $5 for it at the thrift shop. And well, when it was new, it was probably more like 100 And finally, you can shop at retailers like Target, Walmart. They've actually got some decent cookware. You know, you can get something like a Calphalon stainless steel pan. Those are still nice quality pans. Or you can get Lodge cast iron, something like this. And cast iron is really cheap. It's like $20 or less. You can buy it new. And this stuff will last you a lifetime. My advice for average cooks is to just start with a few pieces of good quality cookware. You know, buy the best that you can afford and just build up from there. You don't necessarily need like some big 14 piece set when you're just starting out. Just a few pans will be fine and then you can expand from there to meet your needs. Oh, and they don't all have to be the same brand either. I, I made a video on whether it's better to buy all the same brand or kind of mix them up. And again, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Now it's your turn to chime in in the comments below. What is your favorite pan? What have you had good luck with? I would love to hear. Okay, trivia time. I want you to identify this thing if you know what it is. This odd looking contraption. Who's gonna be the first to tell me what this is? Put in the comments below if you know what this is, and I will reveal the answer on next week's video. Hey, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope you want to cook.